Good morning, it's Lisa from Mythical Witchery coming to you from sunny England. <laughs> I wish that I could say that was true, but no, it's raining. <laughs> so, oh hello, here's the bean. So today, the bean and I are doing a review and flip through of the Crow Tarot, which is an incredibly popular deck. So this is the mass market version. And the creator of this is MJ Kulinan, and she's from America. She's done several other decks, notably the Guardian of the Night Tarot, which I have previously done a flip through of, and I will put a link in the description below. She's also done the Urban Crow Oracle, which is this deck, and I will be doing a review of that in the future. She's done the Wise Dog Tarot. <laughs> And there will be a review and flip through of that coming up. And of course, the Guardian of the Night, which I already mentioned. Uh, she's also done Grimalkin's Curious Cats. And that is just been released by the mass market. And another one called The Enchanted for Hexa, which was indie all of her decks were indie at one point and it is being released for the mass market this autumn it's available now for pre-order so this deck was picked up by the mass market and this particular version is printed by us games so you can expect to see a very typical us game style box and guidebook it was published in 2019, January of 2019. I paid 23 pounds for this. You can get a signed version on MJ's website, and I will put a link in the description below. I'm not sure, but I think you can get it on Amazon.com. It is available on Amazon.co.uk. For some reason, you need to search for Crow Road, because it doesn't come up as Crow Tarot. If you're in Canada, you can buy it at my sister's shop, which is Mystic Mountain Magic. And I will put a link to that in the description below as well. So the box is a typical sturdy two-piece box. No frills, nothing extra, nothing inside the box. No little fancy ribbons, nothing like that. But that's all right. Let's put that aside for a moment. And we'll have another look at the box. Paying homage to the mystical energy of crows and ravens, Crow Tarot invites us to fly through the veil and connect with our intuitive powers. This artfully created 78 card deck is infused with a familiar symbolism of the traditional Rider Waite Tarot, making it ideal for both beginners and professional readers. The 88-page guidebook presents upright and reversed meanings and includes a custom Crow Tarot spread. So looking at the guidebook quickly, this is the same size as the deck. And we'll talk about the size in a moment. 88 pages. It is not in color. The descriptions are relatively, they're good. Um, however, she does have an expanded guidebook, which you can purchase. And in the back, the Crow Tarot spread, which looks to be quite a good spread. So the cardstock is a little bit thicker than most. It is a semi-gloss. It's quite sturdy. Now, as far as size goes, I always like to compare this to my Light Sears, which is a standard sized tarot deck. And this will give you an idea of the difference in size. So it's slightly taller and slightly wider. It's 80 millimeters 
by 127 millimeters, which is 3.25 inches by 5 inches. And there is no edging on this deck, which is totally fine. I haven't edged it yet, but if you have any suggestions for colors that you think would particularly suit this deck, please pop a comment down in the comment section below. So I'm going to adjust my camera and we're going to have a closer look at each of the cards in this deck. So starting with the Major Arcana, and of course we have the Fool. The Magician. The High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. I love this card. Just give me a moment to adjust my light because I'm getting just a little bit of a glare. Let's see if that's better. I think it is. The Chariot. Strength, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, Man. Death. Temperance. The devil. The tower. Star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. Moving on to the Minor Arcana, and starting with the Wands, I seem to have got these backwards. Give me a moment just to make sure that these are in order. Alright, I'm back. I managed to have them all backwards. So, starting with the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. I really love her art style. It's just, it's so different and unique. And all of her decks are, are very similar in feel, and I love them. Four of Wands. Oh, my cats are on a tear today. <laughs> Must be the weather. Must be a change coming. Maybe we'll be getting sunshine. That would be lovely. And the Six of Wands. The Seven of Wands. The Eight. The 
nine of wands. The ten of wands. The page of wands. The knight of wands. The queen of wands. And the king of wands. Of course, these have a slight border around the edges, which I prefer not having a border, but this really doesn't bother me in this deck. I think that the image is, is big enough, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't trim this deck personally. I know there are people that do, but if you did want to trim it, of course, the background, which I don't think I showed you yet, um, I think you'd have a, a pretty good time trimming this and not be unhappy with the result. So moving on to the cups. With the Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. The Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. And you can just feel his sorrow, can't you? The Six of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Oh, hello, Bean. Hello. Are you coming to check it out? Don't bump my camera. The Nine of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. Are you back again? Okay, hopefully that will satisfy him for a little while. <laughs> Probably not. So, with a page of cups. And the knight of cups. The queen of cups. Hello again. Hello again. And the king of cups. He's much more helpful with unboxings than he is with flip-throughs, to be totally fair. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the swords. The ace. And the two of swords. The three of swords. Four of Swords. The Five. The Six. Oops. The Seven. of sorts the nine the ten the page of sorts Knight of Swords, the Queen. Oh, here you are coming back again, and the 
Okay. Don't push my camera. Don't push my camera. And finally, the pentacles. The ace of pentacles. What are you doing there, buddy? What are you doing? That was a loud noise. Two of pentacles. What have you got? What have you got? The three of pentacles. He's being naughty. The four of pentacles. Five of pentacles. The six. The seven. The eight. The nine of pentacles. What are you doing, buddy? The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I got something. What have you got? Here comes. Oh, you silly boy. You silly boy. Okay. The Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The Queen. And finally, the King of Pentacles. So that's the deck. Let's see if we can do a shuffle here. I'm not the best at a ripple shuffle because of my arthritis at all. But just to give you an idea, they are a little stiff. But I think they shuffle quite well. And for overhand, they're a little slippery, but not too bad at all. So that is the Crow Tarot. So what do you think about this deck? Is this a deck that you already have in your collection or that you're thinking of adding? Did this flip through help you make a decision either way? I hope it did. So what do you think? Share your thoughts and comments in the comments down below. And please don't forget to like don't forget to like and subscribe and press the notification bell so that you always get notified when we upload a new video and we're uploading videos all the time and we'll continue to bring you witchy reviews and unboxings, tarot reviews and flip throughs, pick cards, live tarot and oracle readings and contests and giveaways and more. So thank you again so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now. Bye. Are you back again, darling? Hey. Are you? Are you going to let me finish this? Hey. Are you going to let me finish this? Okay. Uh, the bean is demanding a cuddle, so I will be back. Good morning, it's Lisa from Mythical Witchery, and today I'm doing a flip through and review of the Crow Tarot.